Okay, so we're going to try to answer this question, what is a mole, um, before we have a go at answering these moles questions, because otherwise we have to have a strong foundation for anything, I believe, to be able to answer these questions. And so the foundation, if we're going to answer moles question, is what is mole in the first place? So everybody, a lot of people know it's got something to do with Avogadro's number. Um, so we'll come back to what Avogadro's number is in a moment, but let's just take an element like, for example, um, sodium. I believe sodium has got a mass number of 23 and an atomic number of 11. So now it just so happens, it turns out apparently that one mole, whatever mole it is, we'll come back to what that is in a moment, one mole of sodium just so happens to weigh 23 grams. So when we say, um, if I use the symbol MR, I really mean molar mass. And what does molar mass mean? It means the mass of one mole. Okay, so what is a mole then? Well, a mole is this, in a mole of sodium is this many sodium atoms. If I had, if I counted individually, six times 10 to the 23 sodium atoms, give or take, I've rounded up the number, and put them all on a scale, they would happen to weigh 23 grams. So it's chosen, it's chosen this number's chosen, because when you have this many number, this many of an atom, then the mass in grams is equal to the atomic mass in grams. So that's why they've chosen that number. That's why this and the 20, these two 23 is obviously entirely coincidental. Um, but um, so if we if we take another one, um, we can start to understand why this might be. In fact, let's take let's take carbon first. So carbon's got an atomic mass of 12, so one mole of um, of carbon would equal 12 grams. The molar mass of um, carbon is 12 grams, right? So I wonder if, um, well, the question I often ask at this point is what is, uh, what is the mass? What is the mass of, let's make it a bit, no, let's make it not too tricky. Let's let's make it this level of difficulty for now. This many protons. And actually, a follow-up question would be the same amount of neutrons. What is what would be the mass of them? If I took that many neutrons, that many protons, put them on a scale, how many how much would each weigh? So so yeah, for the same reason then you can see that, well, if it turns out the atomic mass is what gives me the molar mass then what well, the atomic mass of a proton is one. So the molar mass of a proton, which is what this is, isn't it? So what, we're now answering the question, actually, what is a mole? It's this many of something, a mole of hydrogen. Hmm, actually, I'll come back to that. Not in the case of a mole of hydrogen, but a mole of sodium and a mole of carbon is just that many sodium atoms or that many carbon atoms. So the mass, so this many protons would be equal to one gram, and it's the same for neutrons, one gram. Now, often they might have it written down in a sentence, or you know, so you might say, "What is the uh, what is the molar mass of?" Well, the molar mass of carbon is just twelve grams. Molar mass of sodium is twenty three grams. And if it was in a sentence, I would use the word. I would write the word, the molar mass of carbon is 12 grams right or if i wrote if i wrote it in a sentence the molar mass of sodium is 12 grams i'd write sodium down if i wrote hydrogen down hydrogen when i say hydrogen i don't mean h i mean h2 because hydrogen a regular eight hydrogen is goes around as high at h2 whereas carbon i mean I want, a, I want a mole of, of carbon atoms, a, lump, a, a certain amount of carbon atoms. This bit right here is maybe, I, in my experience, the most confusing part, or it maybe doesn't sound confusing at the start, but it trips people up constantly, no matter how many, they, they could be doing moles for weeks and weeks and weeks and still falling, um, still making this mistake. Um, 
So, so I want to sort of dwell on this a little bit. But if I say let's so so the molar mass of sodium is just that many sodium atoms. The molar mass of carbon is that many carbon atoms. Hydrogen doesn't behave doesn't hang around as atoms. It hangs around as molecules. And just like if I did a molar mass of say water, I would do the formula for water, which is H two O. And when I want to work out the molar mass of water, you'd probably be able to do that. Do you want to give it a go? So hydrogen is a mass of one. So we've got two lots of hydrogen. Oxygen is a mass of 16. So we've got eight, we've got 16 plus, we've got the two times one basically, plus 16 and it's equal to 18 grams. Oops, hang on a second. <laughs> All sorts of things went on there on my computer. Um, so that's 18 grams. So this, this, that's never good. That doesn't generally confuse people. They know, oh, water's not water's not an element. It's a molecule. So it's a compound. So I use the formula. Da, 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 da. As soon as it comes to an element that hangs around as molecules, it just throws people all the time. So you've got to just consider what the formula is. Like, good way, a good, good way to think about it is the formula for sodium is Na. The formula for carbon is C. The formula for water is H2O. And the formula for hydrogen is H2. So you, look, you think about the formula, okay? So, so okay, so that's what a mole is. Mol, one mole of um, sodium is twenty-three grams because we can use it. Just we don't we can forget about Avogadro's number at this point. But the only reason it comes into play is because we need to understand that a mole of anything is always this many of that thing. And uh, they may, if they want to really catch you out, they might you might do a mole calculations and then they might just add another difficult question at the end and say, so how many atoms would this be? And you're going to go, well, how the hell would I know that? And that's that's only if we've forgotten the root, the foundational understanding of what a mole is. So um, let's think, if, if I know that um, one mole of water is 18 grams, then obviously two moles of water is going to be 36 grams, right? So two moles of water would be 36 grams, not too hard, just twice as many as that. Um, from this, we can actually work out a formula. We can say the moles is equal to the molar mass multiplied by the, oh, hang on a second, I've done something wrong there. <laughs> um, let's rearrange that. What I wanted to say was the, that the mass is equal to the molar mass times by the moles. That makes sense. Now, once you've got that formula, it's, it, it, so a, a lot of people spend a lot of time remembering this formula, but it's always really good to try to work these things out by just generally understanding them. So um, so that's what a mole is, and that's how to calculate moles. Um, we'll do another video on how to actually do one of these questions.